Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a texture using After Effects. Now usually we would be starting with something like a leaf background or something like that, but I'm going to just create a basic image using the Fractal Noise plugin. So, let's come into After Effects and create a new composition. And I'm going to set this as 1920 by 1080, and it's important to remember those numbers for later on. I'm going to create a new solid by holding Control and pushing Y. I'm going to leave it as black. And onto it, we're going to come down to Noise and Grain and Fractal Noise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the layer and push S to access the Scale property. And I'm going to scale it up. And the reason for that is just to get a kind of a simpler look, more like a cloud layer look. And now our, our image is done. And I'm going to click on it and go to Layer, Precompose. And we're going to leave the default name and move all attributes to a new composition. The reason I did that is with the layer scaled up, its sides overrun the sides of the composition. And I want them cut right at the sides of the composition for now. I'll show you why later. So what we're going to do is basically this center point, we're going to make four layers. And we want the center point to be at all four corners of the composition. I'll tell you about why that works in just a moment. But let's bring this up to here. And if we select the layer and push P, we can access the properties the uh, position property. So we're going to set that to 0, 0. And now we're going to duplicate the layer and we're going to move it so that that center point hits the other corner. And our composition, remember, is 1920 by 1080. So let's set this to 1920 and make sure that that stays at 0. Now you'll notice that since the center is at both corners, if I were to put this texture against itself, you basically have the texture go to the center, right at the edge, and then go back from the center into the image. And so it kind of goes up to the center and back through the image like that. And that's the basic, that's the basic principle behind textures. So we're going to do this twice more. We'll duplicate it and bring that corner down to here. And we want this to be 1920 by 1080. And we're going to duplicate it one more time and bring it Bring this one over here, so that centerpiece hits the last corner. And this is going to be 0 by 1080. So you'll notice that these lines in the middle, they don't really mesh up very well. And this is really where the art behind creating textures comes in. It's how well you make this middle part blend together. Because currently, the edges will feed into each other nicely, but it doesn't look like a very good texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first layer. And I'm going to come up here to the square mask, and I'm going to double click on it. And this makes a mask that follows the exact edges of this image. What I want to do is I want to feather it and bring down the expansion property. So let's bring the feather up to about there. So, well, let's, let's round up to 100. We'll go to 100 pixels. And we'll bring the expansion down, and you want this to come back until the image just stops touching the sides of itself. And we're going to grab that mask and copy it and select the other layers that we've got here and paste. And it didn't quite do what we wanted, but it's, it's pretty close. So we're going to hit M. With all those layers selected, press M. And it brings up the masks. And then select the mask and push F. And that'll bring up its feather. And we're just going to go ahead and set all of these to 100. So, now all of them are blurred and none of the images are touching each other. That means that you're not going to get any of that overriding going on or hard edges. So, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this image here and we're going to duplicate it, put it all the way at the bottom, push M to get to the mask and we're going to get the mask completely off of it. We're also going to right click on it, come up to transform and hit reset. And that will fill in the background with some of that same kind of cloud image that we've created. So you don't get any of the hard lines because none of the images are touching the edges of themselves. So you don't get any hard line cutoffs and it fills in the middle nicely. So just to see how well this works out, let's duplicate this composition. We're going to open it up and we'll get rid of all of our layers inside. I'm going to grab this comp one, which is our finished texture, drop it inside and let's move it all the way over to the side. And if we hit P to access the position, we want this to be 0. And we're going to duplicate it. And we want this one to be 
1920. And you'll notice that the texture very smoothly and seamlessly repeats back onto itself, even though there is a hard line there. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create textures using After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.